Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Last lesson, we saw how Lightroom Classic CC groups photos of the same person during facial recognition operations using Stacks. Stacks help to manage your photo catalog by grouping visually similar images together. When photos are arranged in Stacks, the grid view and the film strip are less cluttered, making it easier to locate specific images. You can create and use Stacks in Lightroom Classic CC to improve workflow and increase the organizational efficiency of your catalog. When you create a stack of photos in Lightroom Classic CC, the photos are placed, or stacked, according to their sort order in the grid view. The active photo is on the top of the stack. When a stack is collapsed, all of the photos in the stack are grouped together under the thumbnail of the top photo in the grid view in the film strip. When a stack is expanded, all the photos in the stack are visible within the grid and the film strip. Stacks are specific to the folder or collection from which they were created. In other words, all of the photos in a stack must be from the same folder or collection. You can only view a stack in a folder when that folder is selected as a source or when the All Photographs choice is selected from the catalog panel. Similarly, a stack created from a collection is only viewable when only that collection is selected as a source. Stacks are not visible when a mix of collections and or folders is selected. It's also worth mentioning that you cannot create stacks from a published collection or a smart collection. To create a stack of photos, click to select the photos in the grid view or the film strip in the library module. Keep in mind that the first photo you select will be the active photo and will become the top photo in the stack. After choosing the photos, select Photo, Stacking, Group into Stack from the menu bar. The photos are ordered contiguously with the active photo on the top of the stack as Photo 1. The upper left corner of the stack displays the total number of photos in the stack. It's worth mentioning that any flags, ratings, color labels, or development changes made to a collapsed stack are only applied to the top photo in the stack, not the entire stack. To add one or more photos to a stack that you've already created, control click to select both the stack and the photo or photos that you want to add. Then select Photo, Stacking, Group into Stack from the menu bar. The new photos are added to the bottom of the existing stack. To remove one or more photos from a stack, click to expand the stack in the grid view or the film strip in the library module. Then click to select the photo or photos that you want to remove from the stack. Next, select Photo, Stacking, Remove from Stack from the menu bar. The photo is removed from the stack but remains part of your Lightroom Classic CC catalog. If you want to delete the photo from both the stack and the catalog, select the photo and then choose Photo, Remove Photo from Catalog from the menu bar. The photo will then be removed from the stack in the Lightroom Classic CC catalog. If you remove or delete a photo from a stack containing only two photos, the stack is removed. The photo you did not delete from the stack is displayed in the grid view and film strip as an unstacked single photo. You can also rearrange photos in an existing stack. This is helpful when you want a different photo from the stack to be on the top of the stack in the number one position. To rearrange photos in a stack, first expand the stack in the grid view or the film strip in the library module. Click to select a photo that you want to move to a different spot in the stack. Then choose Photo. Stacking from the menu bar. If you choose Move to Top of Stack, your selected photo becomes the top photo in the stack and will be visible even when the stack is collapsed. If you choose Move Up in Stack, the photo will be moved up one spot in the stack. In other words, Photo 3 will become Photo 2. If you choose Move Down in Stack, the photo will be moved down one spot in the stack. You can also split an existing stack into two stacks. To split a stack, first expand the stack in the library module's grid view or film strip. Next, click to select the photos within the stack that you want to move into a new stack. Then select Photo, Stacking, Split Stack from the menu bar. Your selected photos are moved into a new stack, and the unselected photos remain in the original stack. Lightroom Classic CC can automatically stack your photos by capture time, too. This can be helpful if you have a large number of photos that you want to stack. 
When you stack photos by capture time, you set a duration time between capture photos within which new stacks are created. For example, if you specify a five minute duration for creating stacks, then all contiguous photos that were captured within five minutes of each other will be grouped into one stack. When you stack photos by capture time, setting a shorter duration between captures creates more stacks with fewer photos. Setting a longer duration time creates fewer stacks containing more photos. You can set duration times between 0 seconds and 60 minutes. This type of photo stacking is applied to entire folders or collections in Lightroom, not just to the selected photos within the grid or film strip. To stack photos by capture time, click to select a folder in the Folders panel or a collection in the Collections panel. Next, select Photo, Stacking, Auto Stack by Capture Time from the menu bar. The Auto Stack by Capture Time dialog box then appears. Use the Time Between Stacks slider arrow to set the minimum duration between capture times that will create a new stack. After setting the duration, click the Stack button to close the dialog box and apply the stacking. If you want to dismantle a stack, click the thumbnail of a collapsed stack or any photo in an expanded stack. Then select Photo, Stacking, Unstack from the menu bar. Even if you only select one photo from a stack before applying the command, the unstacking operation applies to all the photos within the stack. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.